Yeah, so we are back. So we were talking about how to create this great uh, Sentinel robot. So here we have the basic element, which is this and this. And then we are going to do the different elements. So this, 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 this. So obviously we won't do all of them. So we want only to do the black one and this red one and then repeat it until we finish. So how do we do this? Well, it's in macros, chakras is quite, quite tricky. So we define this big macro, which is called uh, tentacle one body link. And here we have, so here we have a link, which is the base auxiliary, which is the one that is black. And then we have another one, the base, which is the one that it's uh, red in this case. So the black and the red. Yeah. Why do we do two? Because we want to have two joints with different axes so that we can move this joint. So we can move this element um, like in X and Y. Yeah. So roll, um, pitch and roll we want. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. So basically in X and Y. So we have these two joints that connect the, let's say, the base name, so the red one with the black one and the black one with the previous one. So in this case, in this one would be this one is connected to the black one and the black one to the previous one, which is this one. And here the same thing. So this one connect, this red one connects to this black and this black to the previous one, which is this one. Okay. And then we give it transmissions for the controlling so that we can move it basically. And then we have this, this macro. So how do we use it? And this is the core. This is what it makes it um, recursive. And you can do as many elements as you want. So the first thing that you do is you define this macro, which is called tentacle one loop. And this tentacle one loop, which we are using here, takes as arguments the number of elements. Yeah. And this property, we declared it in Sentinel, which is the number of elements for each tentacle. So here we get this variable inside and we check that it's bigger than zero. Yeah. And then we say, okay, if it's bigger than zero, then we come here and we call this tentacle one body link and we give it the tentacle one name yeah, which is this one, T1, and the number of links, minus one. Yeah, so this is how you, for example, at the end, in this one, why does it have zero? Because it comes here with one and says, okay, one is bigger than zero. Okay, perfect. I come here and then I say, okay, base name is T1, zero. And the parent would be T1, 1, yeah, and that would give us this element here, okay? And the color, which we could change it, but in this case, we leave it as, as it is. And then we call again tentacle 1 loop, which is exactly this one, but we give it one number less. So we start with, let's say, 6, in this, uh, sorry, uh, 10, in this case, so 10 elements. So we go 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
and we have all the tentacles, all this tentacle only, yeah? And that's how we deal with this. And then we have some properties like um, the, the T1 position, which we'll use in, in the body one. So here, you see, how do we connect the green one to the body and it has to change some way for each one of the tentacles. And this comes the second topic, which is, okay, so we have this, now what? Because now we have one tentacle, how do we put six of them, or 14, or 100? How do we do that? Well, it's a bit tricky. Uh, let's, let's talk about this first, and then we'll talk about that. So, common properties is all the properties that are common for the bodies and uh, all the tentacles. So, the body radius, the tentacle element radius the joint radius, this kind of stuff. So if you want to change anything here, you can change it. So let's, just for fun, let's do, for example, the radius of the, well, let, we'll change it afterwards, okay? Yeah, so here, and sorry, here. So this is the common properties, and then the tentacles. So how, how do we get to work. Well, one of the things is that for for chakras is that includes in uh, Ross Indigo it doesn't have anything else. And also you how do you pass? So how do you give this tentacle one, let's say? How could you use the same one? So tentacle one but inside change the values. So the answer is that it's not easy and there's no way that I know of. So if you know some way, please leave it in the comment below to do that through basic chakras. So what I've done is just create another one and another one. And the different difference between tentacle one and two is just this one's one. So let's... Uh, this one's number one, and this one's number two. So the differences are minimum. So essentially, it's the name of the macros that have to change, because otherwise it get mixed, it mixes things and says, hey, I'm using, if, for example, we use the same name for this macro in number one and number two, it gets confused. Yeah, so I named them, totally different but it only changes the name so the, the number yeah and also it changes the positions the positions in which you connect the basic green element the first one to the body so how do we do that so the way i've done it is like this so we if you go to spawn sentinel you see that here we had generate tentacle chakras and we give it the number of tentacles. So this file here, which is, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. where is it? There we go. So this one, essentially what it does is it gets a template and depending on the number of tentacle, so the tentacle one, two, three, it changes the numbers and also changes some values. So in this case, the position of where the tentacle will, will be connected to the body. And that's it. And it generates as many as you want. So uh, let me show you the template. So it's exactly the same, just that it has these keywords that are very easy to, to replace with code. And with this simple, simple script in Python, I can replace and generate as many uh, files as I want. And yeah, so that's how, we, uh, how, how I did it. And that's how you get as many 
as many tentacles as you want, these files. So and just in a moment, we'll, do, we'll try to put more tentacles, for example. So that's it. So now we have this super sentinel. Well, not yet, because uh, you would have everything except one thing, which is control. So for controlling, we'll have to go back and go to this um, init controllers, activate controllers, sentinels, which is, remember, this is the basic spawn uh, script. And inside here, we're using, <coughs> sorry, some, some controller arguments here for spawning the controller, which this comes from, if you go to, sorry, here, you see that it's an argument that we give. And this argument is given through the script of Sentinel. So you remember this script and we give it through this. And this comes from here and this comes from a file and also the number of elements. These files are generated also. And this one is the one that generates these files and the file that we'll use to load all the controllers. So let's go back again here and so here you see that we are getting these arguments which is this one's the basic one basic ones that it's always the same this is the default and these would be the ones that we pass and then here we load the parameters and we load this yum that is also generated we need to generate it because we have to adapt to as many tentacles as we need and as many elements in each tentacle as we need. And then the robot state publisher with that uh, publishes the states. And afterwards we'll, we'll use it to publish TFs and see in our viz and so on. That we'll do in another video, okay? So how do we generate these files? So if we go here, um, sorry. Config files yum generator. And we go down. These are three functions that generate the one that gives us the number of elements, the one that gives us the controller arguments, and the one that gives us the all the control yum data. Okay. It's quite simple, but basically what it does is takes in the, the number of tentacles. And, and the number of elements, really. Well, the, the number of tentacles, yeah, and the number of elements also, as you can see here. Yeah. So, uh, and that's quite it, actually. If we go, for example, the, like, this one is super, super simple. So it's just the number of elements. This one is a bit more complex because we have to do a list of joints. That would be... Uh, let me have a look. This one, which is all the, the controllers names that we have to pass to this um, activate controllers. So activate controllers here, you would have a super list here, which would be this one. Yeah, this list, okay. So, uh, let's go back again here. And then we have this generate yum, which is the one that it's a bit more complex to, but it's exactly the same. So we give the number of tentacles and we give the number of elements for each tentacle and it generates the file, which in this case is called sentinel full control, which is sentinel full control, which is this one. And this is auto-generated each time that we spawn. Why? Because we can change the number of tentacles and the number of elements. Okay? And as you can see, like an example, it's tentacle 1, 0, so element 0, the auxiliary and joint, and then the, num the name of the joint. This is um, 
some strange stuff that macro does that it converts to floats for some reason. I don't know. That's why we generate it with this format. And that's quite it. So I, I know it's complex. I know that it was like 45 minutes of video. But if you follow the explanation, great. We leave it here for today. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We publish everyday ROS related content. We would love to see your own crazy robotics projects. So post videos, gits or whatever you want in the comments below. Have fun with robots and see you in the next video. Bye.